Okay, this, so this is a small little video to display one of the small little tips that we've just found out in Doug's Dungeon. This tip isn't too useful for Necro percent, but it is very useful for Courtyard percent especially, and some of the other percents like Hag, Siren, and Swine. Uh, so what it is, when doing the game normally, this is just straight out of the old road and I've picked up my um, new guys, um, you would have to go into the ruins and then go into the ruins again to progress to enough weeks to do the courtyard percent. But instead, we found that if you do the darkest dungeon and then just uh, put one person in, say the Vestal, you know, Mrs. Scapegoat, so like, uh, you know, it isn't required, you actually name it, and I know I misspelled it, but you know, this is a video. So yeah, say if you send in the Vestal and then come out again, uh, this will progress forward the weeks, unlike what would normally happen when you go into a normal mission and back out. Because when you go into a normal mission and back out, um, everything will stagnate, so your abbey will, um, everyone you've put into the abbey or the tavern will still be in there, or the stagecoach will still be um, empty or however you left it. But for example, if I just go into the darkest dungeon now, you will hear the cutscene and the voice and everything like that. Once again, the stars are right, and the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below, life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Okay, so the only disadvantage to having to do this is you have to sit through that uh, voice dialogue each time. Well, in reality, that isn't really even a disadvantage, as, you know, that voice is nice, isn't it? So, as you can see... So yeah, as you can see, it's week two now. Um, and you can't know the tragic extent of my failings interrupting me much as you can see it's gone on to this next week um new people are in the stagecoach i did upgrade it and if i just take out all of this again to those with a keen eye gold gleams like a dagger's point and do this whole skip again sorry for this wait time the stars are right and the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below, life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Okay, so abandoning the quest again. Regroup. Reassemble. Evil is timeless, after all. Though and now, see, may the courtyard quest is available. Action and consequence. So now we can just go straight into the courtyard, rather than having to wait all that time. And I've got a new set of people here, and if I put anyone in the um, abbey, that would be changed too. The abbey calls to the faithful. So, this can be used in a few other ways than just in the courtyard percent. Say if you're racing someone and your stress is really high, um, you can put all the people you're about to use into um, the stress relieving place, go into the darkest dungeon, come back, you'll heal up in just the substitute of about 30 seconds of having to sit through the dialogue again. Uh, this is also useful when um, you see you, you're doing a cove percent or a world percent or a warrens percent and you're faced with a medium length mission. Nobody wants to do a medium length mission. What you can do is you can go into the darkest dungeon, uh, back out again, and all of your map will currently reset. The only reason why it's not currently is because the rest of these areas do have to have the co uh, ruins one played through in order to actually work. But that's with the other categories. And though that's the majority of the uh, uses of this little skip that we've just found. See you next time.